How did the men's group come about? The idea first came about in the Cranmore Regeneration Project. They noticed a gap in services for men on the estate. There was crashes for the children, women's groups and arts groups for the ladies, but nothing that catered directly for men. In May 2010, we invited all the men on the estate to a meeting in the Abbey Court Community Centre. And out of that, the Abbey Court Men's Group began. Uh, we thought that we wanted the, the name to be appealing to as many people as possible and the Abbey Quarter is the townland for the total area including Garibald Villas and Dory Park so we wanted everyone to feel welcome, not just the men from Cranmore. Uh, coincidentally the residents associations were undertaking a gar community gardens project on the estate so the men went out and helped the Geldof Drive Residents Association develop their community garden. The initial work of the group was quite creative. How did this develop? Uh, through funding from the VEC uh, we got painting classes for the men, but I'll let John, one of our budding castles, tell you about that. How long did it take me to do that, Ed? Yeah. I was working on that for eight weeks on a headless horseman. <laughs> <laughs> He's called the Fifer, but it took uh, forever and many nightmares. But that's the finished product. Who, who did the original? A French artist who was born in 1888 and I believe he died in 19-somewhat. I don't know, I'm not sure if it be a fact, facts, but yeah. I just know it's called the Fifer. Yeah. Another art project was pottery. It just seemed like a natural progression from the painting classes to give the men a chance to express themselves through another format. Is there a way wrong with circles of clay like that and build them up into pots and then you flatten them with your fingers so as to don't leak and stuff like that. And then we came back the following week and eaten all these made for us and we just carved them out and put them in the sun. You've got to look at this guy, don't you? Yeah. But as you can see from the pottery, Ian Carthy is nothing to be worrying about. <laughs> How do you cater for those not interested in arts? As a group, we've done a variety of other projects and activities. From climbing Ben Bulban, we visited the East Key Men's Group and the Men's Group in Dublin. We've gone to the American Folk Museum, we visited the Marble Arch Caves. And uh, twice weekly we go to Bertie's Pitch and Put. We got sponsorship from the Sligo Sports and Recreational Partnership for golf lessons. And as well as that, we have undertaken a keen interest in bulls and have won the county championship two years running. During our first few meetings, the men came up with a list of stuff they'd like to do and activities. All the men have partaken in the Safe Pass course, computer classes, uh, swimming classes. We've done a course in filmmaking. Well, we we'll get two directors. <laughs> John, get over this side. I can't see you. Mm. And now we have Stephen Stadelberg at that camera. Joe. Oh. There, John, do you want to go around with this now? Because it's recording. Put it that. Yeah, it's recording. Put that as recording. Okay, so roll the camera. Okay, camera rolling. Action.
how did the men's group come about? Cool. Cool. And we hope this will help to stay in our new workshop. Cool. Too fast. Then. Cool. Cool. We're hoping to, to do other. Cool. Jesus Christ. We've done a course in filmmaking and we've also done cooking classes. Uh, on the cooking course, we uh, learned uh, a few to, to make and prepare and make a few dishes. A nice lasagna, a Thai green curry, and a pavlova. And uh, we also done a full meal for the staff of the resort centre. Here's one I prepared earlier. <laughs> How about that? You're a cat. Not him, but you're a A major part of the group activity is centred on horticulture. It came about by accident. We started off helping the Residents Association do some community gardens. Then the following year, we did a small vegetable patch at the back of Abbey Quarter Community Centre. Then this developed in 2012 with Abbey Quarter Community Centre. We applied for Agenda 21 funding, and with the funding, we erected and built a polytunnel at the back of Sean Fallon Park. And in there, we've been growing a variety of fruit and vegetables. We even did a horticultural course last year. One of our projects for next year is to do a window box project and grow the flowers in the polytunnel and sell them around the estate and hopefully this will help sustain our new workshop. Here's the man that never does anything, Gary Kelly. The men's group has made great strides in a short space of time. What's next? Our new workshop is opening this year and it was a proposal put together by the Cranmore Regeneration Project and the Men's Group. Thankfully we received funding from the Department of the Environment, the North West Drugs Task Force and the Irish Pensions Board. Uh, we just received a small grant to purchase tools to enable us to do some projects within the workshop. Uh, we hope with the youth on the estate to build and design and build soapbox cars for racing during the summer. And as well as that, we have one or two other projects lined up. How does a man go about joining the group? The contact details are on the end of this video. We also put an ad in the community newsletter that goes out every three months. And also, come along, the doors will be open if you're walking past, or chat to one of the men. Everybody is welcome. There. Well, Perry, no doubt. You think that's good to have in the soil? I didn't say that, that. I said throw the soil out as well. Shut up, give an order, or I stick the pitchfork in the top of your head. <laughs> <laughs>